homosexuals and lesbians it's always been there from the days of noah are they evil they are not is does god condemn people of the lgbtq we were once like that if i see a preacher and lesbians it's always been there from the days of noah are they evil they are not evil they are just people suffering from identity crisis they need to be shown christ if they see christ we all with open face beholding the glory of god as in a mirror we are changed into that same image so we don't beat them down we don't condemn them we don't destroy them we just show them who they are in the light of scripture should we pass laws to tell them that what their practice is wrong well it depends on what the government decides to do in any nation but as a church of god our job is to reconcile them with christ through the preaching of the gospel and the gospel has power to free them from that if one condition. of your pastors came to see you that he has discovered himself that he is gay and that he he really wants to live as gay but he loves the lord i can boldly say none of my pastors will do that because i feed them christ if a pastor somewhere sees you a Damina, i want you to help me i'm gay but i love the lord there I are have, gay bishops in england it will shock you to know i have a lot of gays who have thrown it away because they came to the realization of who they are gays lesbians yeah they told you they were lesbians yes and you canceled them away no they just kept following what we teach and solidly they discovered who they were in christ and that desire left it's identity crisis you never know who you are till you know who jesus is as long as you don't see jesus you will all these men of god who climb their altar criticizing all preacher everybody is not a real man of god i look at them sometimes i don't i don't know i don't know where they are coming from which planet they belong to you that was a drunkard before you that was humanizing before that the blood washed you that you are even still committing sin and you are using righteousness message attacking people to cover up you are not allowing the blood to do this you are not, you didn't die for us and you, your blood cannot wash us clean you did not pay the price you have no right to judge the people that jesus died mercy and grace is still open as long as he has not come i am the one he died for and you hearing me he died for you don't let any man of god make you feel that your sin cannot be washed by the blood the blood is available to wash we are not called to be judgment officer we are called to be instrument of salvation to win soul for christ not to condemn them to show them the way to christ we were once like them if i see a preacher condemning people i know he doesn't know the value of salvation nigeria and she says does god condemn people of the lgbtq well she wrote the lgntq i i hope uh, what she's referring to lgbt okay well i think some say and now um also if a transsexual person gives his or her life to christ can he or she go to heaven without transitioning back to their original gender i think those are beautiful answers i will add something to that um as we get along i think there's there's one other question that has something close to this which but if you just in case you want to know um whether there's anything wrong with the uh lgbtq or lgntq as far as the bible is concerned certainly um in first corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9 i just want to read bible to you what the scripture says let's read from the amplified translation and um, it says do you not know that the unrighteous and the wrongdoers will not inherit or have any share in the kingdom of god do not be deceived misled neither 
the impure and immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor those who participate in homosexuality, nor cheats, swindlers, and thieves. I, I would think, look at, the, look at the company. Look at the list where you have those who practice homosexuality. Look at the list. Is that such a wonderful list? Now, this is the Bible. It's not, I'm not reading you an opinion. This is what the Bible says. We're not discussing human opinions. So, I read that again. Do you not know that the unrighteous and the wrongdoers will not inherit or have any share in the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, misled. Neither the impure and immoral, nor idolaters, nor adorers, nor those who practice or participate in homosexuality, nor cheats, swindlers and thieves, nor greedy graspers, nor drunkards, nor foul-mouthed revilers and slanderers, nor extortioners, and others will inherit or have any share in the kingdom of God. This is what the word says. And so what God calls on all those who practice these things to do is that they turn from them and receive salvation. Now, let me read you another portion just in case you're thinking, oh, is that all? There's more. In fact, the teaching of God's word is consistent from the Old Testament all the way to the New Testament. Now look at Romans chapter 1. I'm going to read from verse 26 to verse 27. Let's read again from the Amplified Translation. For this reason, God gave them over and abandoned them to vile affections and degrading passions. For the women exchanged their natural function for an unnatural and abnormal one. And then he says, and the men. Just a second, or no? Yeah. And the men also turned from natural relations with women and were set ablaze, burning out, consumed with lust for one another, men committing shameful acts with men and suffering in their own bodies and personalities the inevitable consequences and penalty of their wrongdoing and going astray which was their fading retribution now this is what the bible says it doesn't matter what anybody thinks what the bible says this is the truth of the word of god now according to the bible no one was born a thief. I want you to look at that list again. No one was born a thief. No one was born an idolater. No one was born an adulterer. No one was born a swindler. No one was born foul-mouthed. I'm, talk I'm talking about the list that we just read. No one was born a drunkard. No one was born with any of those characteristics you had to acquire them you had to learn them you had to be tempted to become that way no one was born that way so in the same vein as you look at that list no one was born a homosexual let no man deceive you the Bible already told you, says, do not, it's right on the screen there. Do not be deceived. Do not be misled. We're in a day in which people are misleading others 
and they're not teaching the truth of the gospel the truth of the word of God and that's why many want to get rid of the Bible they want to get rid of the Bible because this is one book the most powerful book in all the world and speaks very clearly about man's life and man's character man's behavior and about God and what God demands of us let no man deceive you let no man deceive you and don't deceive yourself don't deceive yourself you may get as much teaching as you want from everywhere to try to tell you that it's okay but if you look at the scripture it's not okay don't deceive yourself now as for um, the second part of the question I said as we get along I, I'm, I'm going to show you something from the word and you can decide whether you really want to serve God or not.